Hi everybody, Brad from Nintex here. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you what print to PDF looks like in Nintex Forms Enterprise 2013 version 2.9 being released this January 2016. This is a feature that uh, a lot of you have been clamoring for. Uh, I've actually been rather excited and waiting for it myself. Um, so, you know, here it is. If I go ahead and click on a new item, I've already got an Nintex form associated with this particular list. And what you'll see right up here in the ribbon is our new uh, new feature, which is print to PDF. Now, if I printed a brand new form, um, I really wouldn't have occasion to do that because there's really no reason to. Um, it really comes down to forms that have already been completed uh, by a user. I probably want to capture all of that metadata into some kind of uh, structured document but want to retain all the fidelity of the form itself and we know that you know printing with the web, web browser today um, an in text form it looks a little rough around the edges um, and one of the other issues that I run into is the lack of a, of a proper page break um, so I can't control the formatting so in this particular scenario, we have equipment requests that live on this particular list. Now, folks are looking for, you know, PC equipment, uh, allocating it to a department, etc. Now, when we create the form, there's there's not much that we need beyond what you see right here. But when these forms are submitted, we, uh, after the fact, um, have some legal disclaimers that are associated with these equipment requests. So when somebody comes in and views this form, so if I go into one of these uh, already populated or already submitted forms, you'll notice right down here, there's some terms and conditions that are associated with this particular request. So if I wanted to print this, um, you know, again, the old way of doing a file and print uh, probably wasn't the most attractive way of, of doing things. Chances are I'd be collecting all of the, uh, <laughs> right there I have the, uh, the SharePoint uh, navigation and the, the list in the background, et cetera. Uh, not very elegant, but if I go ahead and close the print preview and I go to print to PDF, you'll see that we are on the back end converting this form to a PDF. And if I go ahead and open it, we're gonna open it on the client and there is our form. Now, notice how there is an automatic page break inserted. Now, that's that's fine and all, and I could you know save this to a you know another list inside a SharePoint or document library, or print it out, or do would really whatever I wanted to do. Um, but really, I, I want to get a little more specific with the uh, with the way this particular form is rendering. So you know maybe I want to put the page break instead of down here. I want that page break right right here. So I can do that now by going into the Forms Designer and inserting a page break control. So if I click up on the ribbon and I go into Nintex Forms, and you'll see right over here on the left-hand side, I now have the page break guide. So I'm gonna scoot down just a hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And we see that page break guide is now right here on my form. This uh, information right down here is hidden by default on a new form. Um, and, uh, you know, there's there's nothing that this page break will do to modify the formatting of the document, it's something that's done completely behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. We'll go ahead and close that. Now, if I open up one of those submissions, you'll see right here, there's the terms and conditions. But if I go to print a PDF this time, notice when the PDF has been converted, where the page break is. Ah, it's exactly where I wanted it to be. So I have the first page of the form on page one of the PDF, and now my terms and conditions have been split onto the second and third page subsequently. And obviously I could have gone through and inserted more page breaks if I so choose. So a lot of granular control, very easy to use. Again, from here, I could easily print this out. And again, fidelity is maintained of the original form. Or I could even do something like take this and, you know, save it out as a, as a PDF file and store it somewhere else, back inside of SharePoint, um, virtually anywhere. So again, this is the new print to PDF functionality coming to Nintex Forms 2013 Enterprise, and uh, we'll hope you check it out today. Thanks.